And that is now with Queen, who's also about a year and a half, and um, that's King's sister, and he's doing the same thing. After our hike with him, um, he's doing some practice training, um, polite leash walking. You know, these guys have, were trained for about a year. They had a year of training, so we're just polishing uh, some of the basic cues and you know reinforcing and practicing and going over um, cues that they've learned already. Um, it's always important to to keep training going because uh, just like us, they can forget and and um, just need some honing and polishing of some cues, some basic training. So we're working on like sit and stays with duration and different things we're <coughs> focusing on. And if you see, we have King, who's Queen's older brother, who just had a training session and he's, he's now relaxing with, with Isabella. Um, they're both pretty amazing, amazing dogs. And it's a tough environment to train in because there's tons of distractions. The smells alone, uh, because of all the wildlife um, in this area. But if you see King, we put him in a down and a stay, and he's resting quietly and watching his sister train. And that's actually, so they're both participating. Um, you know, the one thing that we really like to um, reiterate is, you know, training can be force-free. There's really no need to use any force with training. And it's so much better for the dog because then that's how they really learn without any force, without any um, aversive techniques. No pushing, pulling, uh, no prong collars, no choke collars. So they're actually learning the behavior that we want through positive reinforcement, you know, through motivation. Right, King?